I have the very unique pleasure each year to participate in that part of the program, which for you, I'm sure, is the highlight of the program, that of presenting the graduates for their awards. It's an interesting phenomenon to watch this take place each year, particularly as we go through the last week of testing and evaluation, as you begin to watch the students uh, uh, walk a little more bleary-eyed from building to building, and uh, even some of the faculty walking more bleary-eyed from building to building, as they're preparing and, and giving tests. Uh, people mumbling back and forth. I heard a group of students the other day in front of one building arguing whether question number 18 meant this and whether it was answer A or B, and there was a very heated discussion going. I got excited enough, I almost wanted to ask who the teacher was so I could go find out what the answer was. But this is a culmination for you of a lot of long, hard effort. I understand there are those of you out here tonight that have been going to school at night part-time for six or seven years to finally culminate in the achievements you've made. And we're honored to be able to have participated in that success. I hope as you receive these awards tonight, each of you graduates will remember that as you perhaps sat bleary-eyed studying at home, there were wives and husbands and parents who may be tiptoeing around to, uh, and children uh, to, to make sure that you could study and prepare yourselves in the way you have, and that you'll remember them and give credit to them too because I'm sure without their help and support, you would not be here this evening. And then I'd just like to indicate to you one other item. You know, for us, your success only begins tonight. It does not culminate tonight. Yes, you've, we feel a certain degree of excitement that you've made it through the classes. <laughs> but to us, the real success now is where you go and what you do from here on. So remembering that, would you please take the time from time to time to stop into the campus and talk to your instructors and let them know what you've done and what you're doing. As an instructor, I can think of no greater compliment than to have a former student come back and say, hey, you know what I'm doing now and thanks for the help that you provided to get me started. So we from the faculty and staff would ask that you remember us as you go through your sojourn and keep in touch so that we can enjoy with you your successes. It is just a beginning. Many of you will be involved in apprenticeship kinds of programs or continued schooling or company schooling. You've heard today that you'll probably be retraining at least three times before you get through your work career. And I, as I heard uh, Dr. Digert say that we've got to keep ourselves in physical fitness, we can't be overweight. I tried to sit a little taller, and, and uh, you've got to be a little, suck in my stomach a little further. I'm sitting next to my boss, and I, I don't want to have that uh, the problem. So we wish you the very best of success now, for it truly is a beginning. And if you attack your jobs, future jobs, and future schooling, the way you have here at Utah Technical College, we know you'll be a success. Now, President Carnahan, it is a distinct honor and pleasure for me, on behalf of the faculty and instructional staff, to present these students to you as having met all of the requirements for the certificates, the degrees, and the diplomas in the various disciplines, and I present them to you to receive those awards. Thank you. Thank you. Students, would you please stand? You have fulfilled all of the requirements for your degree or certificate and have been recommended by the college faculty to graduate. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Regents and the Institutional Council and delegated to me, 
I confer upon you your degree or certificate. The diplomas will now be presented. Will you please be seated until you're called to receive your degrees? Thank you very much. We are not through just yet. Will the graduates please arise? As graduates now, you may take the tassel on the cap and move it from the left to the right. Let's give them a hand. Congratulations. Please be seated. Our Heavenly Father, as we pause at the ending of these ceremonies, we give thanks for all we have and all that we have received. And we express appreciation to all of who have helped us to reach this point in lives. We now ask for wisdom in using the knowledge we have gained as we go forth to serve and ask a benediction on this ceremony. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs>